The war in Ukraine is having an impact on Pakistan's domestic politics. Prime Minister Imran Khan, facing opposition calls to step down, launched a tirade against European Union envoys after they asked Pakistan to condemn the Russian invasion. Listen to what Khan said. European Union ke... Ambassadors of the European Union have sent a letter to Pakistan asking that we make a statement against Russia by voting against them in the UN General Assembly. I ask the ambassadors of the European Union, did you write the same letter to India? Pakistan, like India, abstained from the UN vote against Russia earlier in the month. Khan was already facing criticism after deciding to go ahead with a planned visit to Russia in February. He was in Moscow meeting President Putin on the very day Russia launched attacks against Ukraine. Khan expressed regret that the conflict couldn't be averted. And even as Khan dealt with the fallout of the optics of that visit, opposition parties were uniting against his government. Claiming his rule has failed to improve Pakistan's economic situation, they have demanded he step down. It's a demand that has invited some choice words from Khan. This is how he referred to the three main opposition leaders. I'm competing against these three decoyats, and I will take all three wickets with one in-swing yorker. They tell me that they will topple my government if I don't close corruption cases against them. But I tell them that I will not close the cases even if I have to give my life for it. And just for a bit of context, decoit in South Asia refers to an armed robber. And the cricketing reference is a nod to Imran Khan's time as a Pakistan cricket player and captain. But let's get, uh, get more on this overall situation from uh, DW's Shamil Shams. Shamil, the opposition has been criticizing Imran Khan's policies for quite some time. But why this united demand for him to step down now? Buresh, I think the opposition sees a weak government now. Uh, the thing is that Imran Khan has become very unpopular over the years, in the past three and a half years. Uh, the unemployment is rising, inflation is re record high. So they see that uh, the cracks are also emerging in the ruling coalition. Uh, the allied parties that are allied with Prime Minister Imran Khan are not supporting him anymore. And they see that it is the time that they can oust uh, PM Khan. Also, the powerful army is uh, seemingly unhappy uh, with Khan's performance, his foreign policies, his domestic policies. So all these issues combined, the opposition sees an opportunity now that this is the time that they can oust PM Khan. And how much of this uh, disapproval, Shamil, from the army is down to how Imran Khan has responded to the Russian invasion of Ukraine? Well, we all know that Imran Khan is a populist prime minister. He's a populist politician. What happened uh, recently that uh, he went to Moscow to have a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. And the same day when he was meeting Putin, uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, instead of cancelling his trip, instead of uh, criticizing uh, Moscow, over the attack, uh, Khan uh, went on and held a meeting. And he kind of uh, conveyed a message to his uh, voters, his supporters in Pakistan, that uh, he is anti-West, he is anti-American. And the anti-American sentiment is uh, quite huge in Pakistan. So uh, I understand and I have this feeling that Khan knows that he could be ousted, then he's losing uh, his support uh, with his allies, uh, and he um, uh, catered to his uh, domestic audience, his voters, and presented him as an anti-imperialist uh, politician. Uh, the army is not happy with this policy because the army has closely allied uh, with the West over decades, right. and the army gets its uh, uh, finances, its, the military aid, the equipment from, from America. They don't want to go against the West. Uh, Shamil, how widespread is the opposition to him, and can he survive this opposition? 
It is very unlikely at the moment because the opposition parties have all joined hands. They are uh, very big parties, uh, Bilawal Bhutto's, the PPP, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's, the PMLN. Uh, there is a cleric, uh, Fazlur Rahman, who is hugely pow powerful and has the street power. So uh, they have been uh, holding mass rallies against Prime Minister Khan. And they know that the army at this moment uh, has decided not to support uh, Prime Minister Khan. Khan, as uh, right. we have seen in the past three and a half years, that the army came for Khan's rescue. This time, it's going to be different, and that's why uh, I have this feeling that uh, Prime Minister Khan's uh, days in power are numbered. Shamil Shams, thank you very much for breaking that down for us.